Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. And today I want to talk to you guys about a tool and adapter that I've used for many, many years that allows you to very easily connect to external hard drives on your computer via USB, the most common sizes of hard drives. And that's the SATA to IDE USB 2.0 adapter from Vantech. Now I'll start off and say that the company does offer a USB 3.0 adapter that does the same thing and has the same options, but it is far more expensive. In the video description down below, I'm going to put a link to both products on Amazon. The USB 2.0 adapter is the one that I'm using and showing in the video, and it is not that expensive. And I highly recommend this one. Now the device itself has transfer rates for up to 12 megabits per second if you're connecting on the really old USB 1 style slots. But if you're using the USB 2.0, this allows you to connect at 480 megabits per second, which is pretty fast. It works with standard ATA and ATPI 7 style drives. It's hot swappable, so you don't have to reboot while you're trying to get the hard drive to actually connect. Now inside the box, it actually comes with a whole lot of stuff here. You get the SATA to IDE USB adapter, the main actual interface here, and it has three different style plugs that allows you to connect to different style hard drives. You've got the SATA hard drive connector here. You've got the 3.5 and, and the 5.25 IDE connector, or you got the smaller version, the 2.5 inch IDE on the other side. So if you're connecting like an old laptop hard drive, you can still access it that way. It does come with a SATA cable to be able to connect to SATA drives and to the actual device itself. Granted, it's only about 6 inches long, so you're not going to get an extremely long cord to go with it, but at least it does come with one. And it comes with a converter power cable to be able to convert the 4-pin Molex style plugins for the older hard drives to a SATA style power plug-in too. So you can use that if you are using an older style hard drive that doesn't have a SATA power connector. The power adapter it comes with is a standard brick style power adapter you would see most common with laptops and it has its own power on and off switch here so that you don't have to plug and unplug it. If you're trying to connect an older style hard drive that has the old 40 pin connectors on it and the Molex style connector, then it's really not that challenging to plug in. The adapter plugs in directly straight onto the hard drive and the power cable plugs directly into the hard drive itself. You don't have to use any of the additional cables that come with it. Power it on, plug the USB cable into your computer, and you're good to go. However, if you're trying to access a SATA-based hard drive, then you have to use the little red adapter cable to plug into the power slot on the back of the hard drive, into the top of the adapter itself, and then you have to use the Molex to SATA power cable adapter to be able to plug in the power brick into the hard drive itself. So you have a few more cables and things going on here, but after you get them all connected, it works the same way. You plug the USB drive into your computer and turn it on and it will recognize it. So as I've said before, this is an adapter that I have used many, many times in my career. If you are a computer person and you frequently use external hard drives, or if you work on other people's computers, or if you're just trying to get some data off of an old broken hard drive, or maybe even just trying to use an old hard drive for external storage, this adapter really is a really nice way to be able to access that quickly and easily without having to have a docking station. So, if you have any questions, do drop it in the comment section down below, and I'll happily answer it as quickly and as efficiently as I possibly can. And if you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button down below. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Hope you found this enjoyable. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.